Hello everyone. Welcome to the 16th lecture of the course Statistical Thermodynamics. The topic of this lecture is energy and entropy in terms of the partition function and the value of beta. This lecture is in two parts and this is part one. In the last lecture, we have derived an expression for the Boltzmann distribution which is Ni over N is equal to e to the power of minus beta epsilon i divided by q. Here Ni by capital N is the fraction of particles in the state with energy epsilon i. And Q is the partition function which is equal to sum over i e to the power of minus beta epsilon i. The beta in this expression is a Lagrange multiplier which we introduced during the constraint maximization of the number of ways in which energy can be arranged among particles. We don't know what the value of beta is in terms of known physical quantities. And our goal in this lecture is to show that beta is equal to 1 by kt where t is the Boltzmann constant and t is the absolute temperature. I will present this lecture in two parts. In the first part we will write the energy and entropy of the system in terms of its partition function. In the second part, we will compare the expression for energy with the macroscopic expression for a specific system and obtain the value of beta. So let's get into the first part. Let us begin with writing energy in terms of the partition function. The energy of the system because of Ni particles being in the state with energy epsilon i where i runs over all states is equal to let's say E sum over i Ni epsilon i. Note that this is simply the second constraint in our constraint optimization using the Lagrange multiplier method. Writing Ni using the expression of the Boltzmann distribution this is equal to capital N by the partition function Q sum over i e to the power of minus beta epsilon i and here I simply write the epsilon i. Now I want to write this expression only in terms of q and for that I note that d by d beta of e to the power of minus beta epsilon i is equal to minus epsilon i e to the power of minus beta epsilon i. So 
energy can be written as minus n over q sum over i d by d beta e to the power of minus beta epsilon i. Taking the derivative outside the summation, this is minus n by q d by d beta sum over i e to the power of minus beta epsilon i. The term in the summation here is just the partition function. So this becomes minus n over q dq by d beta. And this can be simplified even a little bit more as minus n d of ln q by d beta. Recall that while defining q, the partition function, we took epsilon naught equal to zero. So this energy is the internal energy relative to epsilon zero. Let us denote the additional energy of the system as u naught. So this would be the total internal energy if all the particles were in the ground state or had energy epsilon naught. So the actual internal energy of the system is a sum of this u0 and e. Let me write this on the next page. u is equal to u0 plus e that is u0 minus n d ln q by d beta. Now the partition function q can depend on variables other than temperature. The energies can depend on the volume and the summation on the number of particles. So q in principle is a function of n, v and t. So the derivative of ln q that we have here is actually a partial derivative with constant number of particles and constant volume. So we can write u is equal to u0 minus n del ln q by del beta at constant n and v. Here is the expression of the internal energy of a system in terms of its partition function. Let us now write the entropy in terms of the partition function. We start with the definition of entropy, which is S is equal to K ln W. And we have seen that this is equal to k ln w number of ways in the most probable distribution. Further, for the system of capital N particles, where the particles are distributed in the energy states, we have seen in the previous lecture that this is equal to k n ln n minus sum over i ni ln ni. Please look at the previous lecture to understand where this came from. Writing this capital N as sum over i ni, this expression becomes k sum over i ni 
ln of capital N minus ln of Ni. This is equal to minus K sum over I Ni ln Ni by N which is equivalently minus K capital N I'm going to multiply and divide by capital N so I get a fraction here Ni by N ln ni by n. Denoting this ni by n as pi which is the fraction of particles in state i, we can write the expression of entropy as minus kn sum over i pi ln Pi. This is a useful expression and you may encounter this formula for entropy in other contexts. Pi is the fraction of particles in state i. Our goal of course is to write this entropy in terms of the partition function. So let's continue from here and I'm going to write the final results of this page on the next page. s is equal to minus kn sum over i pi ln pi where pi is equal to ni by n. Now using the Boltzmann distribution ni by n is equal to e to the power of minus beta epsilon i divided by q. So comparing these two, pi is equal to e to the power of minus beta epsilon i by q and ln of pi is equal to minus beta epsilon i minus ln of q. Substituting for ln pi in this expression for entropy, we get s is equal to minus nk sum over i pi minus beta epsilon i minus nk sum over i pi minus ln q. This first term is n k beta sum over i p i epsilon i and the second term is n k sum over i p i l n q and taking the product of the capital N and p i that is simply ni inside the summation. So this becomes k beta sum over i ni epsilon i. And for the second term, if I take ln q out of the summation, because that does not depend on i, this becomes nk ln q sum over i pi. And the sum over i pi is just a sum of probabilities and this is equal to 1. Let me write this last line on the next page. So s is equal to k beta sum over i ni epsilon i plus nk ln q. Now we have just seen that the sum over i ni epsilon i is 
E, which is equal to the total internal energy minus U naught. U naught, as we have discussed, is the total internal energy of the system if all the particles were in the state with energy epsilon naught, which is equal to zero. So now we have derived an expression for the entropy, which is K B U minus U naught plus N K L N Q, which is in terms of the partition function of the system. In part two of this lecture, we will use the expression of internal energy derived here to write beta in terms of the temperature.